Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about icon button and floating action button. So let's get started. Let me create a new project. I will upgrade the Jetpack Compose version. Go to the main activity. Clean up the unnecessary things. Let me put a box container. Now I will put the icon button. Icon button will take a icon composable. Let's have a action on click. Let's say we want a toast. Let's taste it. This is our icon button. This has a nice ripple effect. Let's have a color, say the red color, I will use the tint property, you can disable this button by enabled property. See, it is now not clickable, that means disabled. So, so that's all about icon button. Now we will see about the floating action button. It also will take a icon. Put the action. So this is our floating action button. Let's give it the white color for the icon one. By default, the floating action button has the circular shape, but we can change it to any shape. Let's say we want the rectangular shape.
so you can see right now our floating action button has the rectangular shape let's change it to cut corner shape we can change the background color by background color property let's say we want the red color yes we can set the content color separately as well let's say we want the content color to be blue you can see the content color is not working because we have given the color via the tint to the icon directly let's withdraw it and let's see what's happen yes right now you can see the color is taken from the content color we can control the elevation as well via the elevation property we can use the floating action button defaults elevation let's see what are the options so you can see the default elevation pressed elevation hover elevation and focus elevation let's say we want the default elevation and pressed elevation let's give the default elevation to be 8.dp and pressed elevation to be 12.dp hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching